I just got a question for my guys out there. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's all good and fun to have fun and be out here doing the shit that y'all be out here doing. But when you come around and you come across that one rare jewel, that one rare diamond, why do y'all chance her? That's the only question that I have. Like, literally, I, I just want to know, like, why do y'all chance her? Like, you will never find another that's cut from that cloth. You will never find another like her. It's one in a million, one in a billion. Like, but you chance her. You chance your queen. You chance your backbone. You chance your spoon. Like, you chance her. Why would you chance her? Why do you chance her? When you find her, why do you chance her? Because you don't believe in it? It's too good to be true? So it's Tuesday. Let's talk about it. Talk to me Tuesdays. For my guys and my, my girls. I'm, I'm, I missed, uh, addressed everybody on the last segment. I said for my guys, but for my girls as well. When you find that king, when you find that queen, why do you chance them? Especially if you know what they are when they're in front of you. When you, you know, when you know your blessing or don't, do you recognize your blessing? Because that's what it is. Like, we search the world to look for and to find the love of our life, right? I mean, I'm thinking that's what everybody would live for, right? <laughs> if I'm, I could be wrong. I'm not quite sure. You guys got to tell me. That's why I said talk to me. I'm listening. I'm listening. You got to tell me sometimes because I don't be knowing. Uh, that's why I be asking questions, and I and I don't want to assume. And if you've found everything you want in that person, everything you need in that person, why would you chance them? I'm asking, like you. You're like, okay, somebody, something better is going to come along. Something greater is going to come along. You're going to be blessed with more. Like, or is it not something that you want at that time? Like, it's something that you want at that time, but as you, you know, progress, it's like, okay, well, maybe I jumped into this too soon. Maybe this is not what I want. That's my coffee. <laughs> I'm in the office. Y'all see where I'm at. I'm always working, never not working. So... It's Talk To Me Tuesdays, I'm saying, December 20th. We got a couple days to Christmas. I need you guys to talk to me. I'm listening. That's what I'm doing. Why are you chancing your king and your queen? And especially in today's age, in, the, in today's time, when everything is so rare and hard to find. Ooh, them lyrics. I need to write that down somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm just being, I'm being serious. I'm like, why are you chancing? Why are you chancing yourself? That's the greatest question, right? Why are you chancing yourself? Why are you chancing your heart? Why are you chancing your body? It's so much more to life, especially when you find love. Especially when you find love. Especially when you find your soulmate or that person that you want to share those special moments with or create those moments with, something totally different. You wake up to it every day, you be like, what experience can we have? Having that person should put a smile on your face every day. It should make you want to wake up to them, come home to them, talk to them, see them, experience them. Like, it's, it's a some type of intimacy that you will never get anywhere else. You can never find, like, it's like a smile. It's like a glow. It's like a feeling. It's like, it's love. I'm just saying, why are you chancing your, chancing it? Don't chance it. Let it take its course. See what, what you're going to do with it, where it's going to go. And move from there, right? That's what I think. Versus jumping from one to one to one to one to one to the next to the next to the next to the next. It's Tuesday. Talk to me.
Why are we chanting our kings and queens? For peasants and concubines. Because some people just want to go along for the ride. I'm just saying, they willing to be the segments. They willing to be the sides. Side niggas, side bitches. They willing to be side chicks. And faithfully. Yeah. But why are we chanting our kings and queens, though? For the concubines and the peasants and those of the field. Talk to me as I sit.